Steady, are you ready? What's going on? What up and hello, girl, it's Minna. What is going on? I know it has been literally a year, literally a year. If you look at back at my page, that is when I posted and said, I'm taking basically a hiatus. I gotta focus on Instagram and doing so really, really helped me. My audience really grew on Instagram. So me doing that was a really, really good idea, but I am back. I'm back. Yes, I am back. I am committing to one video a week, maybe more, but at least one video a week. And I am very, very excited. So I'm gonna do a get ready with me just so that you're not just looking at me talk. And let's just talk through what's been going on for the past year. What's the deal? And I'll do my best. I haven't done this in a long time. So my plan is to put longer, more detailed talking videos on YouTube. And the fast ones are gonna be on Instagram, okay? Comment below if you are excited that I am back now on YouTube. Also comment with any suggestions you have for YouTube videos and I'll make sure that I add them to my list because I'm very very excited to be back. Hello. The first product that I'm gonna use is this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Let me tell you right now this thing is mad expensive and you better believe I just need to use this. I need to use it, use it to finish it because otherwise it's a huge waste of money. I cannot like $50? Oh we gonna use this okay? This is really good in the non-warm weather because I have combination skin and I like my skin to be dry when I wear makeup. So I wear matte foundations only. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that already. I like wear matte foundations, therefore I like my face to be matte. Of course I hydrate, skincare series, all on IGTV. I'll bring some of those over here as well with more detail, but Anyway, I like my face to be matte. So because I'm using that and that is not matte, and if you ask me, it doesn't feel any pores. I can still see my pores. Oh, it's not like it does that. Nails are Amazon $6 glue on nails. I'm gonna use this Mented Skin Silk Loose Powder. The color is medium deep and I'm just putting some in the areas where I normally get oily just to help keep them at bay. So what I'm really doing is making this primer a little matte by doing this. That's all. We go with that. I'm gonna, let me get some of my makeup going and then we'll talk. I don't want this to be too too, too long. So right now I'm gonna use the NYX Total Control Foundation and this is the color Deep Cool. And then for concealer, I'm using Pretty Vulgar Concealer in the color Undercover Lady. And then I'm putting on top of that the Morphe Concealer in the color C355. I'm gonna set it with this Menta Cosmetics Skin Silk Loose Powder. I'm gonna use the color light tan and then we can start talking onto my brows. The brows take concentration. I can slow down and talk at that time. Okay, so I forgot that I set my face beforehand with the powder, so now my under eyes looking real crusty. <laughs> let's spray this. It's looking very, very dry, very, very matte. Not okay. Fix Plus spray, okay? Let's get this to soften up just a smidge. Woo. Wow, that made such a difference. Good. I'm just getting a little nervous. Well, actually all over my face, I love to put a powder on top simply because it helps to bring the look together. I do this all the time on my Instagram. I'm using this CoverGirl Deep Cool 2 powder. It's the powder foundation. Just put it in between where the contour and the, the highlight is just so there's no harsh line and that there's no harsh highlight either. That's what I like to do. Now for eyebrows, I'm using this Morphe Brow Pencil. This is the color Java. I love this because one side has a spoolie and the other side has the actual product. So you don't have to use two different things to get these brows done and Java is nice and dark for my brows because the end is cut off. No, I intentionally cut the side off because I like to create a higher arch. When the side of my brow is off, then I get to bring it up like this versus my brow which grows down like this. I don't want my arch like this. I want it high, like way up here. That's more my judge. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I like. So I'm just gonna brush these strokes. So yeah, I decided to get off of YouTube because it was just too much to manage with working 7 30 to 4 o'clock and then editing these long videos for YouTube trying to shorten it down for Instagram trying to post on Instagram each day I mean it was like what and the more research that I did it was clear that you really had to post on YouTube more than once a week in order to grow and I'm like trying to grow this YouTube channel and it was growing so slowly and I'm like yo this is taking so much out of me I cannot do this I just cannot I cannot in the thumbnails 
almost editing the videos, but let's say an hour tops to edit an, a video for Instagram. The quick makeup look videos that I was doing, yeah, I could edit that in maybe an hour tops, right? Add the music, download it, do the caption, uh, upload it and call it a night. However, for the YouTube videos, yo, editing was taking forever, days. When you're working, it takes days. You can't just sit there and do it from start to finish. And even if so, it's just so much to do start to finish. You get tired, you get annoyed. You're like, no, 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 I gotta take a break. You know, you're like, I can't do this. I was like, I cannot do this. I gave it my best shot and I was getting very worn out and was like, no, something's gotta go. My audience is on Instagram. That is where I'm gonna focus my energy. I don't remember how long it was that I gave Instagram a shot. Maybe it was a year, maybe it was eight months. I can't recall. Let me turn my light on. I had to refocus. Then I was like, you know what? Why don't I start using my Instagram stories? Like people use this. And I was connecting a lot more with my audience by using the Instagram stories. Like they love it and I love it too. It's so fun. It just feels like a daily vlog that requires minimal to no editing really been fruitful. My efforts have not gone in vain. Do y'all still use this? This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Twaffy. I don't put Twaffy under my eye anymore because it's too light. For the past year, I've been on keto. I began that at the end of January last year and I've lost 17 pounds. My weight fluctuates, so it's between 17 and 20 pounds. I'm so excited about that. I've seen tremendous health benefits as a result and it's just great. So I talk a lot about my keto journey on Instagram as well. And a lot of y'all be, well, if y'all hear from my Instagram, a lot of y'all be encouraging me and I just love it. So Instagram is like a whole community of sisters. We've done a Bible study. We are now doing this Bible journal. It's just really, really great. So I love to interact with y'all on Instagram and between comments and DMs, I be busy. I be like, wait, what? <laughs> and I can't ever imagine having somebody else respond because I mean, I know eventually that has to happen. Either that or I just can't respond to everything because the fact of the matter is that it's just so much. But then when I'm responding, I get to know y'all. And then I also just get to know who who are the people that are always commenting and what they want, you know, what they want, what they like, what questions they have, what's the, what the deal is, what's resonating with y'all, what's not, what needs clarity, what doesn't. I mean, you need people to respond. Otherwise, who are you talking to? Nobody, yourself. You're talking to yourself. You're putting up videos to look at yourself and then you the one watching them. You the one writing the comments. I'm under eyes looking crazy because I have not put my powder on top. Powder meaning the powder that matches my skin tone. So we'll get to that. I'm gonna prime my eye with the matte painterly paint pot. Matte, matte, matte painterly paint pot. I've been using this thing for ages. I used to work at MAC like you already know and this is all I know. I normally use a finger but these nails are so long. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How do y'all keep long nails every day of your life? I just put these nails on today and I feel like a whole new a whole new species. What? What is life? But you do need to use your finger to get it to, to melt down, you know? The faces you make when you're doing your eye. <sighs> okay, so I have no idea what eye look I'm doing. I just wanted to do a chit chat. I don't know what's going on. I should have done a poll. I just, I should have polled and been like, what look should I do for the I'm still playing around with this Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So let me use this. I don't get a lot of PR, so unless I buy these new things, I don't have them to review and they're costly. So this is Edges from that palette and the Jackie Ina. I'm gonna go with ginger. I want some more brown. And I'm just fluffing that like back there. Let me do ginger first. Look at all that fallout from ginger. Like what is going on? There's ginger and then we do Edges. Edges also has fallout. We went to Cabo last year as a family. This year I'm praying to travel more. It's a new season, it's a new day, and I'm really excited for what God is doing in my life and what he's gonna use me to do in the lives of other people. So that is really what I'm looking forward to. And I'm excited to get back here on YouTube. I'm excited. I'm gonna do a little bit of credit. I just really believe in building up the colors. So here's Christy, now we're already on color number three. All right, we used ginger, we used edges, and now we're using credit, which is brown. And then I wanna go in with big wig. You could have went right in with big wig from the get go, but that's just not my style. I'm all about building up the colors right here in the crease down just a smidge to isolate where your crease is. I don't know what's going on with the pigment on this side. It's gonna look weird. Let me use a fluffier brush. Big wig again, which is this purple. Now I'm taking ginger just to make sure, look at this. It's all coming out. Just to make sure that this up top here isn't looking too harsh. I feel like using Shookington. Although I'm wearing a pink shirt, I feel like I should put Shookington on my eyes. Let's do a little bit of that. Shookington looks like it requires finger. It's a bluey purple. Hard to use this finger when you got these nails. You know, how do you do that? How do young people do well? I'm gonna need to do a pink lip with this pink shirt I have on, that's for sure. I could have definitely done blue in my crease because this is a bluey purple, for real. I'm gonna darken up the purple here in the corner. 
in love with an S going. I'm not sure how I feel about this look. Ooh. First look back and I'm not too thrilled about it. I guess I should use Zola. Does that match? Well, I'm not into it. I guess that could work. I'm having a hard time with this look. Like usually looks, okay, so there are different, there are two different kind of looks. There's the look where as I'm doing it, I wanna pee my pants because it's so awesome. And then there's the look where as I'm doing it, I wanna poop my pants because it looks hideous. And this is really more of the latter, but I'm really hoping that it's gonna turn around once I do my lashes and my lippy, like I really am hoping because otherwise I'm gonna be mortified. Plain and simple. And I know that I could use my finger, but with these nails, that's like impossible. So I have to use this kind of a brush. I'm gonna deepen the corner of my eyes by using this black from the Warrior 2 palette from Juvia's Place. We do need to deepen the corner of the eyes, otherwise it just looks really crazy. That's very important. Eh? This is not what I wanted to do. Wow. <sighs> I'm gonna do Calypso on my lid with Mented Dope Liner. I wear this often and get questions about it often as well. The Mented Dope Liner. Doesn't have to be neat at all. We're gonna blend this into the lip anyway. You wanna make sure that the edges are blended and that there are no harsh lines. So this is the finished look. I hope you liked this. I hope I'm in focus. I'll know once I edit. This is just so different because on IGTV, the videos are vertical and I just haven't filmed horizontally in a very long time. So here we are. Hope you enjoyed this look. Hope that you can recreate it. If not, hopefully this talk was just it, just entertaining for you, if nothing else. Make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you comment and let me know what you think about this look. Give me a thumbs up because I'm trying to grow my channel. Share this video with your girlfriends, but if nothing else, just support your girl. I appreciate it. I'm so glad to be back and also if you're not following me on Instagram but you are here first of all follow me there and second of all comment below and let me know what other videos you want to see. I have a list but I do want to add some more to it to make sure that your video is included. Thanks for watching.